What steps do I take when buying a vintage Singer sewing machine? What to do before I get one? What to do when I finally have one? And how to film and finish it? Before I buy a machine, I will do research for a certain model. These are my four go-to sites. Also browsing through social media conversations, searching for what information anyone needs. Then I will write a script in English and in Dutch, complete with a shot list. I only buy a machine if I can make at least one and a half videos with it. What can I make and what do I need? Like this Singer 66, one shot together with a 2432, a video with background information, a short on threading, a few shots in a video on different singers, and this video on my workflow. But sometimes I have to sell one first. In this part of the house I have currently 9 machines. That's too much. I have found one. Although the picture showed it with the key, in fact the key was missing. Luckily you can open it with a flat screwdriver. At home I will do the inventory with all the information I have by dating the singer using the app, determine in what factory it was made and what to do next with this sewing machine. This model 66 is missing the cover plate and it has a worn out belt. So I have to order one online. Checking its vital functions, does it move or is it stuck? And if it's stuck, how to free it using sewing machine oil and patience. Then I do some basic cleaning and maintenance. When doing that you can check the entire machine. Is the wiring still ok or do I need to replace it with new cords? This has the original electrics dating to 1927, so I have to be careful. The wires can be extremely brittle and there's a real chance for electrocution. In all, this 66 looks pretty ok. I only have to do some basics and I might replace the original light bulb with a LED bulb. You can burn your hand when touching those old bulbs. And the new light is better too. Last step before filming is often, but not always, cleaning the surface with sewing machine oil. Some even polish the entire machine. The last steps will take me several days to some weeks. Filming, editing and finalizing the video. I have two cameras to choose from. I shoot the footage I need and some extra shots for future videos. For the voiceover I use this test cam recorder and a good microphone. Editing starts by searching in the YouTube library for upbeat music, but not too loud. And some plugins for additional titles and effects. I had to switch from Avid Media Composer to Final Cut Pro for my editing. That editing takes me at least one day. Make a description for below the video, make an SRT subtitle file, a thumbnail and finally publishing it. And now I hope you like this video. On most steps I made a separate video. Link to those videos is in the description below. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask them.